Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, Victor. How are you? I'm all right. Yeah. I'm great. Thanks for asking. Welcome to the class. Perfect. Hello. Good morning. I can see Jesenia. Hello, Jesenia. How are you? I cannot hear uh, you. Today, I'm okay. Thank you, teacher. Excellent. Very good. I'm happy to see you here. And me too. Thank you, teacher. Very good. Very good. I can see Walter. How are you, Walter? I'm fine. Excellent. Excellent. And you, Wendy? Good morning, teacher. I'm okay. great. Excellent. Very good. How about you, Jocelyn? How are you tonight, uh, today? I'm great. Thank you for asking. Excellent. All right. Welcome, everybody. I'm happy to see you here. Welcome. Welcome to the class. Thank you so much for being on time. Thank you for the one who has the camera on. Let me tell you that I want co uh, to congratulate uh, because I can see that almost everybody finished the platform. Very good job. There are a few people that they haven't finished, but I can see a lot of progress. So that's good. Um, so remember, everybody, we just have a couple of days and then the uh, course is over. Are you ready to move to the next level? Yes. 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 Excellent. That's the attitude. Are you ready for uh, the last speaking evaluation? Yes. 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 <laughs> okay, but why you doubt? A oh, few people says yes. Don't be afraid. The second speaking evaluation will be, as always, a piece of cake. All right. So today we are going to have a lot of practice, as always. So do you remember what was the topic that we studied yesterday? Uh -huh. About the issues with the health? Something Which one? Like that. Issues uh, with the health. Very good, yes. Or health problems that is basically the same so today we are going to continue practicing that we are going to check new vocabulary so as always please every new word you know what to do write it down okay so well let's start it everybody um i just wanted to remind you guys to always review the vocabulary Okay, specifically the vocabulary that we studied in the unit number four and the vocabulary that we are starting in the unit number five, because basically that is what I'm going to evaluate in the next speaking evaluation. Okay, so review the vocabulary. If you don't use the vocabulary during the exam, you are not going to get the score. Okay. Now, let me start uh, sharing the presentation because today we have a lot of practice. Let's start. Um, let me know if you can see the presentation, please. Yes, teacher. Yes? yes teacher. Excellent. Yes. Okay, so today is September 20th and this is our class 16. Let's have a quick review about the vocabulary that we started yesterday and let's verify new vocabulary. Please, every single new word, write it down. So let me open up. We have this health problem. When you have a lot of pain in your back, what is that? Backache. Backache. Okay. 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 Good job. Uh, very good. Very good. And what should I do if I have a backache? 
rest. Mm -hmm. You should rest. You shouldn't carry heavy weights. Very good. What else? Another suggestion? You should take a pill. Very good. All right, now look at the next one. Do you remember? Broken leg. Good job. A broken leg. Broken leg. How about this one? Um, we didn't check this yesterday, but imagine that you have a little. Da, 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 da. What is this? What is this? I'm not sure, but I think that is a cat or lesser skin lesser or no? Yeah, no. <laughs> Actually, it's chili. The a first cat. one. Yes, a cat. Okay. <laughs> yes, a cat. So imagine when you have a knife and you are peeling, for example, a potato or a mango or something, and you cut. Okay? So write it down. A cut. Have you ever had a cut? Yes. And what should I do if I have a cut? I wash the cut. Very good. You should wash the cut. What else? And put a band aid. Ah, very good. Put a band aid. Yes. Now, what was the next one? Do you remember? Fever. Very good. A fever. A fever. Next one. Headache. A headache. Correct. Can I say headache? No. No. Headache. Very good. Next one. Stomachache. 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 Stomach Next one. Toothache. Toothache. Very good. Toothache. Toothache. <laughs> Eric. Eric. Very good. Eric. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good job. Flu. Mm, remember that the flu a cold? is cold. Ah, okay. cold. Remember, what is the difference between a cold and the flu? Flu is my yes. So cold is like very common. Right, it's not so bad. But when we are talking about the flu, it's like more dangerous. What is this one? Folk. Which one? Folk. Okay. Cough. 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 Okay. The last sound Cough. is like an F. Cough. Cough. Pretty good. Is it clear? The vocabulary? Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, that was the easy vocabulary. Do you want to try the medium? Yes. yes. Okay, but write it down, please. Look at this picture. Have you ever had one of these? Morito. <laughs> How can I say that? What is that? Black. Black. I don't, I don't remember. Bruce. Bruise. Ah, a bruise. Yes. Bruise. Okay. So write it. Write it down. A bruise. Do you have a bruise right now? Yes? No. no? I'm not no. sure. No. And what should I do if I have a bruise? You can put ice. Ah, very good. Excellent. Next one. Imagine that you are cooking. Mm -hmm. What is this? Burn. Very good. A burn. Burn. And what should I do, guys, if I had a burn? Any suggestions? Cream. Shoot. Mm -hmm. In the water. Yes. Okay. First one, you should 
water it. What else? Put some cream. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you ever had a burn? Yeah. Yes. Is it painful? Right? <laughs> it's very painful. All right. Now look at this one. When you have a physical harm or a damage in any part of your body, that is called An injury. Injury. So what do you think, guys? What will be the translation of injury? Do you have any idea? Maybe dolores musculares, no? Mm, close. Another idea? Como lesiones, tal vez. Yes. So injury is like lesion. So this is like in general, it is not specific. So you can say, I have an injury. So if you say injury is in general, we don't know exactly what kind of injury. We don't know if you broke um, a bone or if it is just a pain in your muscles or if it is a cut, we don't know exactly what kind of injury, okay? Injury is just una lesión, but it's in general. Got it? Yes? Got it. Yes. Got it. Now, you have to remember that injury is only in the living things. You cannot use this word for an object. For example, if you say, I, my cell phone has an injury. Mm -mm, never. What you can say is my cell phone has a damage, maybe, but never injury. Injury is only for things, I mean, people or animals that are alive. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. yes it's Very it. good. Excellent. Okay, next one. Look at this picture. When you have some inflammation in your lungs, what is that? Any... Pulmonia. I'm sorry? X-ray. Pulmonia. Ah. Pneumonia. That is the one. So we call it pneumonia, yes? Have you ever heard about pneumonia? Yes. Never. Have you yeah. ever had pneumonia? No. No, no never? No. So pneumonia is pretty dangerous, right? So be careful with it. Next one. Do you remember this one? Rash. Rash. Ah, very good. A rash. Rash. Have you ever suffered rash? Yes. And what should I do if I have a rash? Maybe I guess it's a stress. Sometimes it's because of the stress. That's true. So you should relax. Another suggestion, if I have a rash. Use cream. Ah, uh, very good. You should put some cream mm -hmm. and visit the doctor. I think that this is weird. Look at this one. When we were kids, <laughs> this was very common. What is this? How do we say this in Spanish? That's fun. Ah, very good. So in English, scrape. we say scrape. Have you ever had a scrape? Of course. <laughs> I think everybody, right? Especially when we were kids. So a scrape, scrape. Write it down, please, write it down. Next one. So look at this picture what comes to your mind a 
A cold. Uh -huh. A cold. COVID. <laughs> Could be, right? Could be. Pandemic. <laughs> All right. So in this A case, sickness. remember um, when everybody is sick, right? If you see all of them have like a different symptoms, so we can say sickness. What is the translation for sickness? Enfermo. Mm, similar, but what else? But what else? Enfermedades. Exactly. Exactly. So we can say when we are talking about enfermedades, we can call them illness or sickness. So for example, I can ask you guys, what is the common sickness here in El Salvador? What do you think? Mm -hmm. What else? A flu. Yes. So we have uh, what else? Another common sickness? So. Okay. Actually, there are a lot different common sickness. Okay. How about this one? Do you remember? Sore throat. Sore throat. Very good. Sore throat. How about this one? A flu. Very good. The flu. So remember, the cold is common. It's not so bad. The flu is like more serious. Okay. That is the difference. The last one, look at this picture. What is that? Throw up. Very good. So here, there vomit are two or options. or throw up. Mm -hmm. You can say vomit, that is an easy one, or you can say throw up. Honestly, uh, in the movies or in series, when they are talking about this action, I always listen that they say throw up. I've never heard that they say vomit, at least in the movies or series that I've seen. Okay, so they always say uh, throw up. So maybe that one is a little bit more common. All right, but you can use both. You can say vomit or you can say throw up. Okay, is it clear the vocabulary? Yeah. Yes. Did you copy the vocabulary? Yes. Are you yes. sure? How can I say raspon? The scrape. Very good. How can I say quemadura? Warm. Okay. Warm. How about moretón? Bruce. Bruce. All right. That's the one. Excellent. Okay, keep in mind the vocabulary, review it, practice it, and tomorrow I will continue asking that vocabulary. Any questions so far? Okay, well, let's start. Today, we are going to continue practicing that vocabulary. Uh, give me a second, let me start sharing the presentation again. Okay, one second. This is a little bit slow. Okay, we are going to start today's class speaking. Can you see the presentation? Let me know, please. Yes. Yes? yes. Hi. yes okay, pretty good. Okay, we are going to start speaking. Okay, and we are going to ask and answer these questions with our classmates. For example, what sicknesses are common in your country? We already studied this word. What is the meaning of this word? Enfermedades. 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 Right. 
Then we have the second question. How often do you get a medical checkup? What is the meaning of medical checkup? What do you think? Chequeo medical. Exactly. Medical checkup is when you go to the doctor just to have um, some checks. I mean, just to verify if everything is okay. Sometimes we go to the doctor only when we are sick. But how often do you go to the doctor just to verify if everything is okay? That is the question. Then how often do you have headaches? Uh, what healthy habits do you have? And what do you usually do when you have a cold? Is it clear the vocabulary in these questions? Yes. yes. Is there a worry or a question yes. that maybe you don't understand? Is it clear? Yes. Okay, perfect. I'm going to send these questions on WhatsApp's groups. And right now we are going to have five minutes to discuss these questions with our classmates. Okay, so we'll go to the breakup rooms, but please everybody enter, please participate. Remember that during the breakup rooms is the moment where I want you to feel free to talk, okay? So let me open up the groups and please everybody enter, everybody participate. Are you ready? Yes? Yes. Excellent. Okay, let's go to work. Remember zero Spanish. Okay, if you don't know how to say a word, ask your classmate to help you, okay? Let's go to work. Hello, how are you? Hi. Hello, Mario. <laughs> Hello, Melvin. Carolina. Hello. Carolina. So, um, what is the most quality? Uh, what is the first question? Uh, what sickness are common in your country? What do you think? I think it's the flu in El Salvador. Mm, I think yeah. or cold. Cough, hmm? cough, flu. I think. Mm. Well, <laughs> in the, in the, I think uh, it's dengue. Yeah, mm -hmm. dengue. dengue is very mm -hmm. common. Mm -hmm. um, I think um, in El Salvador is very common uh, flu, fever, cold, cough. Uh, uh, for me, uh, only have cold twice a month. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think we have uh, the most common sickness in our country. So, um, it's one of the most common. Uh, you? What do you think? In my opinion, the common uh, skinnesses? 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 Yeah. <laughs> Sicknesses. Sicknesses. Okay. Is a, a fever.
Okay, I think she has issues with the connection. So continue you guys. In my opinion, I guess the common sicknesses is a, a cough and cough. That's it. In my in my country is common fever, cold, cold and flu, I think. So, um, Odilia, um, how often do you get a medical checkup? <laughs> um, in my case, I, I, I usually, oh no, I sometimes uh, get a medical checkup because, uh. In my case, I I don't I don't have a ill illness. And you? Um, in my case, it is rarely that I get a medical checkup because. Also, I it's rarely that I'm I'm get sick, that I'm I'm sick. And you, um, Alan. Actually, I have never go to the checkup, a medical checkup, but I think that I must do that because it's important for a healthy life, a healthy life. And you, Adriana. Um. Well, I go to the medical check twice a, a year because I have a, a skin problem. Yeah, only three times a year. Uh, can you repeat, please? Three times a year. Okay. Okay. And Um, in my in my case, every every time I feel bad. Um, oh really? When when I when I feel bad, I okay. I go so frequently. Mm. So frequently go to the doctor. Yes. Frequently. Yes, any. How often do you get a medical check checkup? In my case, I know I never at the moment. Really? Why not? Never. It's never. important to go to the doctor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why, but I feel okay. But that reason, I don't visit. I don't visit the doctor. Oh, okay. Uh, but maybe a, once maybe a year two. or something like that? What? I'm or sorry? maybe once a year? And I have a pain in my, I don't know, how do you say, cuello? Neck? Uh, yeah. Neck. Yes. Oh, when, but... When I'm stressed. But do you have an, a neck? A neck cake and a back cake. Um, yes. Mm, sometimes At the same time. it's yes. Okay. I don't know okay. if, if I I feel I don't know intense or I usually uh, 
pass the time, in, uh, sit down. Uh, I don't know, but in my case, the back cake and neck cake. Okay, and what do you do in, in, in that situation? Uh, I take a pill or I rest. Only that. I know, I know. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> yeah. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Because Wendy doesn't have a healthy habit. She oh, said, no. <laughs> she said, yeah, I don't have, I mean, watch my hands. <laughs> eh, Dora, That's Dora, the only... What healthy I habit think... do you have? Uh, for example, I do exercise twice a week. Uh, I don't eat some food. Okay. Yeah, I eat vegetable food. And you, Kenya? I what? um I think I consider myself uh I'm a little healthy, but <laughs> I I go to work oh, okay. two or three times a week. And I try to eat um, healthy food. And I think that is a healthy habit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you, Abigail? Mm, I don't consider myself a healthy people. But I used to drink a lot of water. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. And it's a healthy habit. Um, <laughs> it's good for a headache. headache. Hey, yeah. <laughs> And I go to run every week. Every week. Okay. But really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can? Yeah, yeah I can. can. Oh. Sing I want to sing people. now. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Honestly, oh. I, I sing too. Okay, but. Over, I don't know what sound. Okay. Sorry, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Whatever sound, whatever sound, don't worry. <laughs> so, don't be nervous. <laughs> yeah. Uh, give me a second because I don't have my, my guitar. My guitar. Okay, 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 okay. Oh okay. my gosh. Okay, yeah, go. Yes. Okay. It's more common for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, me... I only sing, but I don't uh, play guitar. In my case, I just dance. <laughs> oh. Uh, <yeah>. Okay. <laughs> Continue. Can you hear the guitar? Yes, can I hear yes. the guitar? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a little. Okay. Me quedo callado y soy como un niño dormido y puede despertarse con apenas solo un día cuando menos se lo espera cuando menos lo imagina sé que un día no me aguanto y voy y te miro y te lo digo a los gritos y te ríes y me tomas un loco atrevido pues no sabes cuánto tiempo en mis sueños has All right, time's up. We are going to wait for the rest of your classmates to go back to the room. Okay, time's up, time's up. Let's go back to the main room, everyone. Let's wait for everybody. How do you feel the questions? Easy or difficult? Easy. Excellent. Excellent. 
Uh -huh, and the rest uh -huh, of and the rest of you. Could you answer all of the questions? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. I was listening very interesting answers. And I was listening in a group, they had a concert. <laughs> okay. Uh, very good, Walter. You have a, a, a nice talent. I was listening to you. Nice job. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. Okay, did your classmate answer all of the questions? Yes. Yes? Did your classmates speak only in English? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, nice. Just a reminder, guys, remember to write your full names on your profiles, please. Yesterday, when I was checking attendance, I could see some of you didn't have the full names on your profiles, so please verify it and write it. Okay, let me interview some of you. Let me start with Melvin. Hello, Melvin. Hello, teacher. Tell me, what do you usually do when you have a call? Mm, in my case, uh, I shouldn't uh, eat ice cream. Ah, uh -huh, very good. Um, I should take a rest. Um, I should. Um, I should take a medic medical, for example. How do you say acetaminophen? Acetaminophen. Acetaminophen. Mm, maybe I eat. Uh, I should eat chicken soup. Ah, okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Now let's see, Herman. Hello, Herman. Hello, Miss. Herman, what healthy habits do you have? Oh, wait. Uh, well, I I go walking uh, every morning, and after that, I do exercise three times a week. Yeah, any tall fruit, especially apples. Ah, okay, nice. That sounds very healthy. Um, uh, let's see, Catherine. Catherine, how often do you have headaches? Can you repeat, please? I'm sorry? Can you repeat? Oh, yes. How often do you have headaches? Headaches? Mm -hmm. uh, mm, rather late. Oh, it's good. not common for me. Nice. <laughs> and what do you do when you have headaches? I take a pill and oh. I take a nap. Nice. <laughs> Pretty good. Very good. Let me ask to da, 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 da. Jocelyn, how often do you get a medical checkup? Uh, never. <laughs> Only when <laughs> I think I go. <laughs> ah, okay. What about you guys? I know that in our country, that is very typical. We just go to the doctor when we are sick. But is anyone here to go to the doctor for medical checkups? Or only when we are sick? I have to go every three months. Ah, okay, sounds good. Twice a year. Ah, okay, pretty good. So we should try to do it, right? In order to stay healthy. Pretty good job. Thank you guys for keep practicing. I was listening to the groups and I like the way that today I didn't listen to the Spanish. So nice. Okay, now let's continue. Let me share again the presentation. Can you see the presentation? Yes? Yes. 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 Okay, now let's see some vocabulary that we can use when we are talking about medical problems. For example, um, Imagine here I have some vocabulary. These are symptoms. For example, if you say, oh, today I feel like vomiting. 
That is a way that you can describe symptoms. So what is the meaning for that? Look at the picture. What will be the picture that describe that symptom? Four. four. Ah, four, yeah. number four. So if you want to describe it, you can say, oh, today I feel like vomiting. Okay, write it, write it. Another symptom or another way to describe your symptoms is like, I keep sneezing. What do you think? Which one is I keep I keep sneezing? I one. think one. Nine. Okay, yeah. very good. Mm -hmm. Imagine that you go to the doctor and the doctor says, okay, what happens to you? How do you feel? What are your symptoms? Oh, doctor, I am coughing a lot. What is that? Eight. 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 Ah, very good. So I am coughing a lot. Or you can say, oh, doctor, I have a headache. What is that? Two. 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 Good. Um, okay, doctor, I have an upset stomach. Six. Six. Very good. And what is the meaning of an upset stomach? What is mm. that? Like a bad thing. Mm -hmm. What else? Upset the stomach? Okay, upset the stomach is, for example, guys, when you have a stomach ache, you cannot eat anything. And usually <laughs> you go to the bathroom, right? That is the meaning for upset stomach. Have you ever had an upset stomach? No, never. Never? The rest of you? Yes? No? Okay. Letter F. Okay. Imagine you go to the doctor and you say, doctor, I have a runny nose. What is that? Runny nose. Um, I think three. I know. Wait, see. Nine. Yes. Okay, and I think nine. 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 I think it's nine. Actually, it's the number nine. What is the meaning of a runny nose? What do you think? Rinitis? Mm, not necessarily, but in some cases, when it is the, uh, more serious, it is. But runny nose is, in simple words, when you have a lot of mucus, okay? So when you have cold, for example, you have runny nose. Have you ever had a runny nose? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I think that all of us, right? So runny nose is when you have a lot of mucus. Okay, then you can say, doctor, I have a sore throat. What is that? Number, number, three. Three. number three. Number three. Very good. Yeah. Oh, doctor, I have a temperature. Number five. five. Number five. Ah. So, what else can we say? Instead of I have a temperature, what else can we say? Fever. Uh, very good. I have yeah. fever. Okay. Doctor, I have breathing problems. Seven. Seven. Asthma, maybe. Yeah, look at this one. So, when you suffer asthma, you have breathing problems. So, these ones, in this case, guys, these ones are it's symptoms. Great. Is it clear? The vocabulary? Yes. Copy the symptoms. Today, we are going to use that vocabulary. Okay? Did you copy them? Wait. Copy, copy, no worries. I can give you the time.
Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Everybody, did you finish? Did you copy them? Yes. All right. Finish? Yes. Can I move? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Okay. Now, we already check the symptoms. Now, let's learn some vocabulary about the remedies. What can we do for some kind of symptoms? We have here some uh, problems, right? Health problems. And here we have the remedies. We are going to check some vocabulary and then we are going to match them. So in which situations we can use them. But first, let's learn the meaning. So we have the first one, antibiotics. This one is pretty similar to the word in Spanish. So when can we use antibiotics? When we have a bacteria. A bacterial? Infection. Okay, yeah. when we have a bacterial infection. Do you agree, everybody? Yeah. Yes. Yes, that's the one. So if you have a bacterial infection, you can take antibiotics. Number mm -hmm. two. Andreas. Letter C. Letter C. Andreas. Andreas. No, no, no. Okay, when do we take aspirin? When we have an migraine. 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 <laughs> what is the meaning of migraine? Uh, uh, really hard. Headache. A hard headache. A hard headache. Right. Exactly. So you can have a headache and it's like not so bad, but when the pain is very intense. So in that case, it's already a migraine. Have you ever yeah. suffered that? Sometimes yeah. it's for hurt. Sometimes it's for how? Hurt. Oh, for the heart. Uh, yeah. Yes, that's true. Um, this is when some people suffer some heart pain mm -hmm, or the heart attack they recommend aspirins too. Yes, that's true. So, have you ever taken aspirin? Yes. Yes. Yes, in my case, in my case, yes. Okay. Because have you ever suffered? I'm sorry, yes? Yes, I suffered that migraine. 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 Oh, my gosh. gosh. Yes. Okay. And the rest of you guys, have you ever suffered migraine? Yes, yeah, in my case. And do you take aspirin? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, important. Every time that we are talking about medicine, we use the verb take. Okay? We don't use the verb drink. Like, hey, you should drink an aspirin. Mm-mm. You should take, okay? When we are talking about pills or medicine, we say take. Okay, let's continue. At this congestion, when do we use that remedy? What do you think? When we have blocked. Very good. When you have a blocked nose. Have you ever had a blocked nose? Yeah. It's terrible, right? I hate when I am like that. All right, next one. What is the meaning of this word? Have you ever heard that? Moisturizer? To dry skin. What is that? When do we use a moisturizer? For dry skin. Ah, very good. For a dry in. Um, it's like a humectante, I That's think. The, 
exactly. That's the one. I think that the moisturizer is more common for women. I, I think that women are the ones who try to protect more the skin, right? But that's the one. It's like a cream to hydrate our skin. Have you ever used a moisturizer? No, because I don't uh, know uh, how pronounce pronounce this word. <laughs> so <laughs> this is a learn for me for today. Okay, pretty good. So write it, write it down. Moisturizer. Then we have tissues. When do we use these ones? Well, a runny nose. A runny nose. Do you agree, yeah. everybody? Yeah. Totally. Yeah. So if you look at these pictures, tissues is like this. Okay, this little Kleenex you can buy the, at the supermarket. The moisturizer is like the cream. Okay, dry nose is like this picture. Then we have a lozenge. Hmm, what is that? Have you ever seen that word, lozenge? A lozenge. First time. Which one? First time. Like a pill. Ah, when do we use lozenge? What do you think? When we have sore throat. Sore throat. Uh -huh, very good. So in this case, guys, lozenge are like those candies, but specifically for a sore throat. Okay. Mm. It is not like a sweet candy. It's not like for children. Ah, yes, take us a candy. No. This is like a medical candy. For example, sorritone. Have you ever heard about it? Yes. Mm -hmm. What else? What could be another lozenge? Maybe mm -hmm. Yes. Big, the other ones big, too. big, big, big. Oh, yes. Actually, big has some news. Lozenge. <laughs> I didn't like it, but they are very effective, mm -hmm. actually. Yes. So imagine if your classmate said, oh, I have a sore throat. Instead of saying, hey, you should take some Soritone because Soritone is the brand. So, but the generical name, you can say, hey, you should take some lozenge. Okay, and when we say lozenge, we are talking about the candies that are medicals. Understood? Yes. yes? Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Now, sleeping pills. It's for insomnia. Very insomnia. good. And what is the meaning of insomnia? When you can when sleep. You can, you can sleep at night. Correct. Have you ever suffered insomnia? Yes, it's terrible. Yes. Yes. Every day. Yes. Oh, really? Oh, my gosh. So imagine if your classmate said, hey, I have insomnia. What should I do? What could be the remedy? A sleeping pill. You should take? I sleeping pills. Very good. Excellent. Have you ever taken sleeping pills? Never. <laughs> Never? They are very strong. You should be careful with them. So look, we have some remedies. Copy, please, because again, we are going to use that vocabulary. Remember, if your classmates say, I, I have a migraine, A, you should take what? Can I take an antibiotic if I have a migraine? No, an aspirin. No, aspirin. 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 A, I have a runny nose. Can I use moisturizer? No. no. No, right? I need tissues. Hey, I have um a bacterial infection. So can I take a lozenge? No. no. What do no. I need? You should take antibiotics. Antibiotics. And if I have a dry skin, 
Can I take some discongestions? No, you should, you should take the moisturizer. Moisturizer, pretty good, excellent. Okay, did you copy the vocabulary, everyone? Yes? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, everybody, can I move to the next one? Are you sure? Yes. 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 Okay, perfect. Okay, we already described symptoms. We already described remedies. So now we are going to see some treatments or solutions for injuries. Do you remember the meaning for injuries? Yes, lesion. Exactly. Now, what happens if you have some injuries? Let's see what we can do. Bandage. What is that? Have you ever seen that word? Uh, yes. In which situations can I use a bandage? When you have a cut. Ah, when you have a cut, yes. Or a burn, maybe. maybe. Mm -hmm. In a burn. What else? When you have a scrape. Ah, very good, excellent. Then we can say adhesive bandage. Or in a contracted form, that is the typical, we say band-aid. In which situations can I use a band-aid? Uh, for a small cut. cut. This is for a small cut, right? If you have a big cut, mm -mm, you cannot use it that. Then we have an ice pack. In which situations can I use an ice pack? When you when have, you a, have a bruise. Okay, when you have a bruise, what else? A burn. When you have a burn. Mm -hmm. What else? Can I use it for a backache? Yeah. Oh, yes. Some yes. people use um, an ice pack uh, we uh, they have they has um headache and that's true so look you can use it for pains like backache headaches yeah why not then we have a sling hmm when do we use the sling when you broke In a fracture. your arm In a fracture. or you uh -huh, exactly and you okay. have a work arm Broke broken arm. Arm. broken bone. All right. Yeah. Yes, this is very common, especially when you have a broken bond. And if you have a broken bond, you need a cast. Have you ever had a cast? No. Yes. <laughs> okay. Never. I remember her man said that he broke it. An arm. Uh, no, it was a an arm. Yeah, my left arm. Yes, my left yeah. arm. <laughs> Imagine how long time did you use it? Six months. Six months. Oh yeah. my gosh! So look at the difference. Okay, we have a cast specifically for a broken bone. Um, some people use the sling to support the cast. But also, you can use the cast when you have just an injury, not necessarily a broken bone, okay? Maybe you just have a terrible uh, injury, but you didn't broke the arm, so you can still use this link. Teacher, I have a question. What? Injury is similar to torcedura? Not really. Injury, it's more like when we just say in general como una lesión. All right. Okay. So if you want to say una torcedura, I don't remember how to say that. Let me check. Oh, yes. If you want to say that one, there are two options. You can say like twist or spring. Okay. Interesting. Thank you. 
Thank you. <laughs> uh, oh, no, no. Let me see the spelling. It's like that. I think that is like a letter A sprain. Let me verify. Yes, okay. like this. Mm -hmm. So in this case, guys, for example, when you are walking <laughs> and you have a twist in your ankle, okay? You didn't break the bone, but it's still painful, all right? Or sometimes in your arms or in your hand, you just have a twist or a sprain. It didn't break the bone. So in these scenarios, you can use a sling. Okay? Got it? Okay. Okay, then we have cold running water. What is the meaning of that? When you have an injury and you have to wash your um, injury, but with cold running water. In which situations do I use this? When we have a born. A born, yes. What else? Maybe uh, uh, when you have a cut too. Uh -huh. Oh, very good. Or um, scrape. Yes. So in those scenarios, remember, guys, it is important to wash our uh, injuries. Sometimes it's not necessary to use soap, just the cold running water. So if your classmate says, hey, I have a born, what should I do? Mm, you should have a cold running water okay then we have rest in which scenarios do we use rest headache. when which you one? have flu headache flu headache back 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 yeah yeah mm -hmm. very good so look these are some other solutions that you can use Copy the vocabulary because if your classmate says one situation, you need to provide solutions, okay? Ah, you should wear a bandage. Ah, you should use an ice pack. Hey, you should take a rest, okay? Copy the vocabulary, please. Let me know when you finish. Ready. Okay. The rest of you? Let me know when you finish. Copy, please. We are going to use this vocabulary. It's done. Excellent. Very good. Finish. Excellent. Okay. Everybody finished? Yeah. Yes. yes. All right. Now we are going to use that vocabulary that we have been studying. The first things that we are going to have is a listening practice. A very easy listening practice. So we have a person that is Madeline. She's telling a friend about her health problem. So I want you guys to listen to the audio and you have to choose the correct answer, okay? Let's imagine that this is like a listening quiz. So let's try to get all the answers correct. Can you see um, the exercise? Everybody? Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes. yes? yes. Pretty good. Remember that you can answer the questions in your notebooks. Okay? And then we are going to verify if your answers are correct or not. To avoid interferences, please, microphones off. If you cannot listen to the audio, please let me know. Okay, everybody, let's pay attention. Here we go. Madeline is telling a friend about her health problem. Listen and circle the correct answer. 
I woke up with an awful ache in my right ear yesterday morning. I'm trying to lose weight, so I've been swimming every day for two weeks now. I've never had any earaches before. My ear really hurts. I think the water may not be good for it. Anyway, I put some drops in my ear, and that has helped a little bit. I'm still going to go to the doctor tomorrow, though. Okay. Could you listen to the audio? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, if you see, the audio is pretty short. The first question is, what's the problem? What is the second question? When did, when when did, the, did problem the problem start? start? When yeah. did the problem start? Next question. How often, How often she has had she this had problem? problem? How often has she had this problem? Number four. What did she do what for, did she do for, for, it? for it? And when will she see a doctor? Very good. Okay, do you have the answers to those questions or would you like to listen to the audio again? Can you repeat the audio please? Again, please. Again, please. Again, please. Again, please. Perfect, no problem. Okay, microphones off, everybody, please. Here we go, pay attention. Madeline is telling a friend about her health problem. Listen and circle the correct answer. I woke up with an awful ache in my right ear yesterday morning. I'm trying to lose weight, so I've been swimming every day for two weeks now. I've never had any earaches before. My ear really hurts. I think the water may not be good for it. Anyway, I put some drops in my ear, and that has helped a little bit. I'm still going to go to the doctor tomorrow, though. All right. Do you have the answers? Yeah. Yes. Are you sure, everybody? Yes. Okay. So we are going to do this as, um, let's see, let's see, as a vote so everybody can participate. Um, two, 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 two. Okay. Question number one, what's the problem? Let's go and vote a toothache, an earache, or a weight problem. Go and vote, everybody. All right, I can see some people consider that is the option C, weight problems. And I can see most of you consider that is the letter B, an earache. And the correct answer is the letter B, an earache. Very good job, excellent. Okay, how about the number two? In the number two says, when did the problem start? Last week, two weeks ago, or yesterday? Let's go and vote. Some people says yesterday. Some people say two weeks ago. Oh my gosh, it's almost a tie. Okay, time's up. Well, I can see some people says Two weeks ago, some other says yesterday. The correct answer is yesterday. So I know that that part was a little bit confusing. So she said that two weeks ago, she started to swim. Okay. But the health problem started yesterday. Okay. Be careful with that. Let's continue. Letter, well, question number three. How often has she had this problem? Never, a few times, or often? Okay, I see a lot of people is saying never. Hmm.
Okay, time's up. Okay, everybody says never, and the correct answer is never. Very good, excellent, excellent. Let's continue with the question number four. In the question number four it says, what did she do for it? Took some aspirin, put some drops in her ear, or drank hot tea? What do you think? I can see everybody is saying letter B. Are you sure? Absolutely. <laughs> All right, time's up. And definitely, right? That's the correct answer. Put some drops in her ear. Pretty good job. All right, let's go to the last question. When will she see a doctor? Never, today, or tomorrow? What do you think? Go and vote, everybody. Some people say today, some people say tomorrow. Well, let's see. The correct answer is tomorrow. Very good job. Okay, everybody, how many correct answers did you have? Five. Five? Four? Five. Four. Five. Four. Three. Okay, hey, pretty good job, pretty good job. So, if you see this listening was easy or difficult or 50-50, what do you think? 50-50. 50-50, okay. So, I want you to copy this question. Question number one, what's the problem? Write it, please. Question number one, what's the problem? I want you to write the question number two. When did the problem start? Okay? Only those one. Question number one and question number two. When did the problem start? Only those questions. Question number one and question number two. Write it down. What's the problem? When did the problem start? Ready? Yes. Yes. Everybody? Only question one and two. Okay. Now we already practice listening. We already practice grammar, vocabulary. Is missing something. What do we need to practice now? Maybe speaking. speaking. Yes. So guys, today we are going to practice speaking and I want you to imagine that you are at the doctor, okay? So student, A, we are going to rotate, okay? So student A, imagine that the student A, for example, is Victor, okay? So Victor is the patient. So Victor has to choose one illness and he has to describe the symptoms okay we already checked how we can describe the symptoms the student b for example uh, imagine that victor is working with herman so herman will be the doctor so the doctor you need to ask Questions. What questions are we going to ask? Question number one. What is the question? What's the problem? Very good. Question number two. When did the when problem, did problem start? start? That's when the one. The so the doctor has to ask those questions. The doctor has to try to guess the illness, right? What's going on with Victor? And then you have to try to provide suggestions. Okay, don't forget to use the vocabulary. So instead of saying, hey, you should take some pills. Okay, but what kind of pills? Antibiotics or maybe aspirin or sleeping pills. 
try to use the vocabulary, okay? Uh, Victor, do you have a question? Yes, Tisha. I have a question with uh, with many problems because I don't know if that kind of problem could be considered like illness because a uh, bruise, uh, like a scrape, uh, that, mm -hmm. that kind of In this of moment, problem? oh, no worries, guys. In this moment, remember that you as a patient, you just have to describe the symptoms, okay? You can say, doctor, I have a bruise. And the doctor will ask you, okay, when did the problem start? Uh, it started yesterday because yesterday I had an accident. So now I have a bruise or invent. Um, it doesn't matter, guys, if it is not a real illness or if it is just a symptom. It doesn't matter. I mean, right now it's just a role play. Don't worry about it. Even if the suggestions, for example, imagine if you don't know what to do, invent. You are not a real doctor. So don't worry about it. Is it clear, the role play, everybody? Yes. Yes? So please try to provide good solutions. Try to give a good symptoms description. Now, when you finish, do switch. Now, for example, Herman is going to be the patient and Victor will be the doctor. Okay? That's the role play about it. Any questions so far about the role play? Yes? No? Is it clear? No, it's clear. Okay, perfect. I'm going to send instructions on WhatsApp groups right now. Everybody invent your symptoms, invent uh, what's happening to you. Let me create the groups. We are going to be working in group of three so everybody can participate. I know that I have some listeners. So if you are in a group where nobody is participating, let me know so I can switch you to another team. Just let me create the groups. One second. Is everybody ready? Yes? Okay, let's go to work. Pretty good, let's go to work. <laughs> and you, and you um, told me uh, that you see it uh, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, who will start? Uh, if you want, you. You the doctor. Be the doctor. <laughs> okay. I play the role, the doctor role. Okay. Um. Okay. Maybe. How do you feel today? Mm, to, today I feel like uh, vomiting. Uh, okay. So this is the problem. Uh, when did the problem start? Um, the problem starts uh, uh, today in the morning. Okay. And you have an idea why uh, you feel sick? Um, I is think um a breakfast or something. I think uh yesterday is um fast food on the street. Mm, maybe that's the problem. So I show uh, I recommend you um and um, you can show a take a uh, uh, pill so and you have to rest which pill doctor yeah. 
know. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, <laughs> antibiotic. Thank you. Uh, the patient <laughs> is helping the doctor. <laughs> Okay, you are the you are the a uh, a best doctor than me. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, repeat, Mario. What kind of pill does Melvin need? Um, I think uh, Melvin, you should take uh antibiotic. Nice, very good. Very good. <laughs> okay. Or intestinal medicine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's another one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, maybe um, if you, uh, uh, I can ask to 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 um, Kenya. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hello, Kenya. How are you? How do you I'm feel? feel terrible, doctor. I have oh sore throat. What the problem? And I have temperature. And uh, you have a fever? I think it is fever. Yes. You know. Exactly. So for the for the runny nose, uh, you should first you should buy many tissues for you because it seems important to to be careful with that okay. and i recommend you um an aspirin for that because it's not it's not a big, it's not a big problem and then you have to buy a the congestion for your nose, for your nose. Okay. Uh, okay. It's all, and I think that with that, you will be better tomorrow. And if it's not that, uh, you can come with me the next week. On okay. Monday the next week. Okay, thank yes. you so much. That's all. That's all. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, I love it. Okay, if you want, can you see? Mal, yeah, mal. <laughs> okay. okay, I will be, I will be the normal person. Okay. You are the right. Okay. Um, me, okay. Yes. And Hi. good morning. Hi. Good morning. How? What's the problem? Um. Well. Yesterday, I my my favorite my favorite uh, team is of soccer played. So I I I feel like uh, with sore throat. Mm -hmm. No, so yeah. uh, I don't know how can I do with that. Okay, let me see. Okay, um, sore throat. Yes, I have a sore throat. Okay. You can't... Let me see. Okay. Sleep together. Let me see. Oh, sorry. Okay. You should buy a cold series to help the soul trouble, right? And you rest for three days. And you should drink tea of honey with lemon, right? And you tea? come back tea, yes. Tea with, with honey and lemon? Yeah, food soup, throat, throat cut, okay? Okay, okay. And what else? I can't listen the other. And let me see. Cold syrups. Oh. Okay. But cold, for, cold syrups. I I should rest for three days. That's a yeah. lot of time. Mm, I 
I have a sore throat. Okay. And when did the problem start, Melody? Um, I, I, um, my problem starts uh, yesterday. Okay. I think I give you for your problem. Olivia, stay here. Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Okay, did Odilia participate? Because I can see that Odilia is here. No, teacher, I can right now connect me again. Ah, okay, can you participate right now? No. Uh... No tengo. Salgo. All right, so. I'm going to verify another group. So just give me a minute and then we are going to go back to the main room, okay? Okay, teacher. Very good. Uh, how what? do you feel? Um, I seen a very itch. A I have a dry skin, dry skin. Okay. Mm, uh, let me see. Uh, it hurts? Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, anything else? What? Anything else? What's more? Yeah. yeah. I need what? Sleep. Yeah. You need to take a sleeping pills. Okay, only that. And you have you need to you should take a um a tea, a lemon tea, or manzanilla, I don't know, manzanilla tea. Okay, thank yes, you. Yes, you should. <laughs> okay, time's up. Let's wait for your classmates. Time's up, time's up, everyone. All right, all right. Well, let's wait for your classmates. Some of them are still in the breakup rooms. Time's up, time's up. I was listening. Very interesting doctors. Some doctors healed the patient <laughs> all right how was the practice everybody was it easy difficult 50 50 it was very funny <laughs> very <laughs> funny did you kill your patients yeah <laughs> no kind of <laughs> maybe <laughs> oh yes melvin killed kenya no way <laughs> really Melvin, why? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I was listening to some groups that definitely the doctor killed the patient, but look at that one. It was pretty good because I was listening that you were trying to use the vocabulary. Excellent. Did your classmates speak in Spanish? No, no. not really. Ah, very good. Now, listen, excellent job. Honestly, I really like the way that you were trying to use the vocabulary. I like the way that you were trying to provide solutions. A very nice job. Now, little details that um, we have to discuss. For example, let me share 
one of the things that I was listening. If I'm talking about yesterday, some people say yesterday I eat. Can I say that? Oh, ate. I ate. Ah, ate. Yesterday I ate. Oh, Remember, wow. that is in simple past. Now I listen to this question. Mm, you have a fever. Is that a correct question? Do you have, Do you a, fever? have a fever? Ah, fever. Don't forget the structure. We need an auxiliary. Do you have a fever? Now, some of the groups were saying that they feel dehydrated. So we need to say saline solution. What is the meaning for saline solution? Look at this picture. What is saline solution? Can you see the picture? Yes? Yes. Yes. Oh, well, see him now. Not really. Yeah. This is more like a sweat, right? A sweat, oh, yeah. so, for example, when you have diarrhea, when you have fever, you need to drink saline solution okay pronunciation of this word mm -hmm. actually syrup? is no. syrup we don't say syrup oh. it's syrup mm -hmm. and syrup. look at this one you should take a tea is that sentence you correct drink tea. you drink. should drink. drink you should drink i mean you can say take or drink it's okay but can I say a tea? Tea. A cup tea. of tea, maybe? Ah, oh. if you say a cup, it's okay. A cup of tea. But if you say only tea, remember that tea is uncountable. So we say just tea. Okay? Mm -hmm. I was listening to Spanish. Manzanilla. How can I say that? Camomile. Come Okay, it's, it's not necessary to say in Spanish, so write it, write it down. So little by little, we are going to continue learning new vocabulary, okay? Is it clear, the vocabulary for today? Yes, do you have any questions, everybody? Mm -hmm. No questions? No, it's no question, clear. it's clear, thank you. You're welcome. Yes, I listened to someone. Tell me. Yes, uh, you can say, I don't know how to, I say electrolyte, electrolitos. Electrolitos? Uh -huh. Ah, okay. If you want to say electrolitos in English, it's like electrolyte. Okay. Uh huh. I'm sending it in the chat okay. right now. Electrolyte. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Okay. Now, guys, unfortunately, we don't have more time. So we are going to continue tomorrow. So please try to review the vocabulary. Try to memorize it. And the most important, try to finish the platform, please. Okay? So, everybody, thank you so much for being in the class. Thank you so much for participating a lot. And have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.